clear up. Voice clear. Hi guys, good evening. Myself Jay Surya. And introducing my teammates Akash Raj and Latika Yes. And now we are going to uh, explain the history to our project automatic washing machine simulation using Quick Sim Lab. Now let's go to the topic. These are the table of contents. Okay, introduction to the project microcontroller uh, and uh, pick similar power detector and what is embedded system what are the software is used and embedded program ibm and what are the advantages and disadvantages and finally the conclusion the reference and also we are illustrating the working and the demo of our project okay now introduction to the project what is washing machines washing machines are the devices which are used for cleaning of cloths without opposing rough beings, rubbing or beating the cost by oneself when getting dirty. Uh, washing machines are used to reduce human labor and save time. Uh, nowadays we can see various kinds of washing machines, especially the fully automatics and the front line as that is front load, the top load and the customers always uh, want to have only fully automatic machines instead of having semi-automatics because uh, if we buy fully automatic washing machines, means it will do all the works that such as washing, uh, rinsing, and also drying the cloths in a uh, systematic way and automatically. And also in that time, in that forty, uh, and also uh, we can do the any work in that forty minutes time instead of uh, checking the cloths are washed or not, rinsed or what, and dried or not. But in semi-automatic washing machine, we have to involve some work uh, work manually. That is, we have to fix the time for separately for washing, and we have to fix the time for separately for rinsing, and we have to take the cloth before drying. So, so many processes and difficulties are in semi-automatic. So, people prefer only the fully automatic washing machines. Okay. And so, in our project, we build a simple washing machine spin timer using microcontroller. The microcontroller we use is PIC 16F877A. Microcontrollers and microprocessors used to control various electric devices such as cellular phones, laptops, monitoring systems, controlling systems, etc. Uh, they are cheap to produce, that is, microcontrollers and microprocessors are used to perform. Yes, uh, uh, yes, bro. I'm audible. Your voice is, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, try no, to audible? continue. Uh, yeah, 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 now you are audible. Uh, it's you okay. It is clear. It is clear. Yeah, it's clear. Oh, okay. Uh, shall I continue? Latika, I'm audible. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go to the topic. Uh, microcontrollers and microprocessors are used to perform repetitive, op repetitive operation the same way after time. And they are very cheap to produce and all the components are in the same package. They are very fault on operation. And now let's see what is a microcontroller. A microcontroller is a, just an IG, that is an integrated circuit which is capable of being programmed to perform a specific task. That is a norm has some restrictions on it. That is the memory size. IO capacity, input capacity, capabilities, peripheral functions, etc. And this is the architecture of the microcontroller fixing lab. Uh, it consists of GPIO, totally CRTC, E R uh, EE3, sorry, E Pro and LM35 temperature sensor, ADZ, RS232, LEDs, buzzer, SSD, matrix keyboard, CL study, etc. And how to choose a good microcontroller? We can choose a microcontroller based on its good applications, good performance, affordable price, and availability in the market, and the availability of tools for the microcontroller in the market, special capabilities. By choosing these six phenomenon of uh, properties, we can choose the best microcontroller, which is uh, which gives a perfect output and uh, reliable. Uh, one in our day-to-day -day life.
now let's see what is uh, now, now let's see the comparison comparison between micro comp uh, sorry microprocessor and the microcontroller microprocessor are all are separate components more flexible more design complexity in microcontrollers all components are in single chip and they are less flexible and they have less design complexity uh, as i said before there are types of machines that is semi automatic fully automatic top loading front loading semi automatic we have some i need some uh, sorry some operations are be to be performed by the humans manually fully automatic means as i said before they are fully programmed they will wash to dry uh, full front loading is uh, the plots are loaded by friend and uh, front loading uh, washing machines are mostly used in the laundries okay and the top loading plots uh, are loaded from the top load a uh, top opening that uh, mostly top loading washing machines prefers uh, only in the houses etc and the principle of operation is the three cycles the three cycles are wash cycle rinse cycle dry cycle as i said before uh, the same points are repeating that is where uh, the plots are washed in the water with the detergent detergent and uh, here a dirt which is separated from the cloth is drained and the dry cycle is used to dry the cloths from the washing machine now uh, teammate my teammate akash raj will explain the embedded system the introduction to embedded systems akash bro you can go ahead yeah okay yeah myself akash raj uh, jay surya sorry, just sorry. Uh, zoom in. yeah okay 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 uh, we have to see what is an embedded system actually it's a combination of hardware and software we have to intend this uh, to for performing the task or it's in a specific manner okay yeah uh, this micro this, this embedded system having an all of components digital components and softwares and uh, we have to convert this software to the hardware thing so converter is also having in this embedded system yeah and uh, jaisura on uh, next slide yeah here we see that uh, examples of embedded system like a gps monitor digital clock uh, mp3 player uh, uh, light uh, like a traffic light mri scan uh, tiny robots uh, electric cars and so on like uh, here also we have that uh, washing machine and micro ovens etc these all the kind of embedded systems example next slide jaise okay yeah it's a component uh, embedded system components at first we have to see uh, what is it? cpu cpu is the brain of uh, embedded system it controls all the sensors and actuators to perform the specific task in the specific manner here we have that uh, memory ma uh, memory allocation for real uh, read only memory and random access memory which gives the memory for the data to store on that uh, cpu and we have the input devices and output devices Uh, to make uh, interaction to uh, a hardware and the component uh, and the software and here also we have the communication interface for connecting uh, one micro one uh, microcontroller to another microcontroller uh, for the specific data transmission manner and here also we have to specify the microcontroller for the application what we are using and the uh, security circuit also depends on the application next slide sir jaisu ne next slide jaisu ria ah uh, yeah okay Ooh, okay here we see the categories of embedded system yeah okay okay here we see the categories of embedded system first we have to see the stand alone embedded system it have a slave like a semi automatic washing machine it's an example and uh, indep independent embedded system like uh, tesla car it doesn't uh, need to depend on any other it's fully automated car example it's uh, for a stand alone embedded system and real time embedded system real time em embedded system uh, we have to say in a single word is that uh, it's working on the specific uh, amount of time it doesn't uh, exceed the time uh, which are limited uh, if it limited uh, if it exceeds that limited time uh, there we may uh, cause the uh, huge disaster or any other uh, loss of life and loss of properties and uh, network embedded system it's like a router home security systems and so on 
and uh, mobile embedded system. It's like a Google uh, calibrated embedded system. Example, we have see uh, robots and hybrid embedded system. Also, we can see the robots. Example. Next slide. Jay Surya, next slide. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's see the embedded system real-time aspects. We have to, uh, it will depend into three times, hard real-time, frame real-time, and soft real-time. Hard real-time, as we now see the real-time, uh, like uh, airbag uh, system in car and uh, the pacemaker in a heart like that. Uh, it should meet the deadline. It, when it's exit the deadline, we may cause the loss of life, loss of properties, uh, like a huge uh, uh, disappointments will happen. When the hard real time exits and from real time, from real time similar to the hard real time, but the loss of life is not happening. Only the loss of properties will happen. Soft real time, uh, soft real time, uh, it's a tolerant uh, um, delay. Like uh, when we hearing the uh, music, uh, some delays happening in the music, we can tolerate easily. There is no effect happening for that. And when we seeing the video, uh, some delay happening in the video. Uh, we can easily tolerate. There is no uh, effect can happen. So uh, these are the kind of examples here. Uh, we are seeing industrial robots, uh, uh, gaming consoles, uh, micro ovens, DVD players, and so etc. Next slide. Jessica, next slide. Yeah, uh, this slide actually software tools used. Yeah, uh, here we using a uh, LMP Lab X ID. Uh, by using this software, we can uh, implement the code and run the code in that uh, Pixel Lab simulator. And uh, this MP Lab uh, integrated development environment is an expandable, highly configurable software program. We can program on uh, any uh, software. Uh, by here, we using that uh, MP Lab software. Okay, uh, Jay Surya, next slide. Yeah, uh, for the simulation purpose, we have to see what happening in the uh, real time. So here we using a Pixim Lab. Uh, it's a real time emulator for PIC and the Arduino controller. So uh, it's a real time. Uh, already we have seen it's a real time emulator of development boards and integrates MP Labs code hexa file into this uh, Pixim Lab and uh, program this uh, Pixim Lab and uh, show the uh, specific task what happening on there. Next slide. Yeah, uh, this slide will uh, continue by Latika S. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now seeing the advantages of uh, automatic washing machine. Uh, first is uh, easy to use. The automatic washing machine is uh, very e uh, easy to use. Uh, so this is... Uh, and the automatic washing machine is less uh, compression due to effect cleaning uh, cycle and uh, inbuilt features of loading water automatically as per the slot. Next one is uh, uh, received less time. And uh, used uh, automatic washing machine is uh, received time uh, for uh, people. Next slide. Now, the effective cleaning. Uh, the washing machine is uh, clean um, all the bacteria, etc. No one likes to scratch cloth before putting into the washing machine. And if you are also the same, uh, then fully automatic machines of better advantages. Next, automatic oil machine. Um, this is uh, after training on the automatic machine with water and all the water slots. When uh, everything is due to uh, remove uh, water from the dryer. dryer. Next, uh, great capacity. Um, this is um, you can find different capacitance rates uh, and uh, and they start from the from the very low range to high range one. 
next slide now see the disadvantage of uh, washing machine automatic washing machine um this is um electricity compression um the um, fully automatic washing machines uh, have a range of features and smart controls um you do this uh, they usually acquire more efficient uh, electricity then um this uh, price is um, high uh, compared to uh, normal washing machine um, automatic washing machine is uh, 30 to 50 percentage price is um, higher uh, next slide now let me conclude um, as we can conclude after going through all the advantages and disadvantages um, of the fully automatic washing machine it is easy to plan that uh, purchase uh, seeing a gain and a better choice people with less gain uh, space can be find the very effective um, option to wash that lot easily and save time for the this is um, easily used and uh, less time than the uh, uh, automatic washing machine now next slide yeah reference um first reference is uh, imatex uh, website then next one is um, referred to um, i triple e papers um, electrons and communication in the uh, i triple e papers i am referred then uh, some youtube channels next slide um working on demo next uh, this is a continuous uh, team is uh, akash here we see the code for automatic washing machine uh, this course is written in uh, mp excel lab and here is the code we are uh, giving the press switch uh, stop button like that and uh, uh, yeah when i load this code yeah it successfully built so there is no error in this code and the code is successfully built when we go on the simulator pixim lab yeah here we see the display shown the key fight to power on the washing machine when we power on the washing machine we have to free press the key fight uh, and uh, for that we have to load the code load the hex file into this uh, pixim 16f 77a microcontroller yeah the code the code is automatically uh, and successfully included here and when we press the rb4 button it will power on let's see yeah the washing machine is powering on there is no uh, error so uh, when we press the uh, button rb3 the program for each and every uh, condition like uh, heavy light uh, light clothes woolen clothes and bed sheets dry only these all features when we press the rb3 uh, for each time it will uh, move on for the uh, next next uh, function yeah uh, for clicking any functions here uh, we will see so yeah here we see the water level uh, like uh, auto low medium these are the levels we are we are using to uh, 